Voyager 1 has been calmly cruising through space for many years, but recently it made a startling discovery. Scientists are holding their breath as a fresh signal from the depths of space is detected. What is this enigmatic entity, and what is its purpose in pursuing our space traveler? You're in for a treat with this fascinating film. The Voyager probes set off on an unparalleled space mission in the 1970s. These extremely well-equipped probes, the first artificial objects to successfully colonize interstellar space, gave unique data for nearly 45 years. Voyager 1 in particular startled us right away as it entered the furthest regions of space. A mysterious signal was abruptly detected by the umbrella a few million kilometers from Earth. We would like to ask you to contribute to our channel before we go into further detail about this and other fascinating findings made by Voyager 1. We encourage many comments that relate to the topic and benefit all viewers. We will always give your contribution a heart and pin it to the top, where it will be read first if you are one of our subscribers. Just make sure you're subscribed already. In interstellar space, radio waves. Voyager 1 traveled into interstellar space in 2012. The sphere of space that is outside the effective radii of both our sun and the nearby stars is known as this region. Interstellar space continues to be a mystery. We don't really know anything about what occurs in this place that seems to be uninhabited. Voyager 1 was created in the 1970s, therefore its technology is relatively basic. Simple gauges, cameras, and radio wave receivers are present on both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. In order to save energy, the cameras were shut off years ago. On the other side, where the radio wave receivers are still operational, an extraordinary event has occurred. After a prolonged period of silence, the area around Voyager 1 suddenly began to emit sounds that awoke the researchers. A dim insistent aim was abruptly discovered 23 billion kilometers from Earth. Scientists claimed that in order to be audible at all, the goal had to be technically boosted because it was so weak. Scientists promptly provided explanations following the stunning revelation that humans had heard the first noises from intergalactic space. The feeble waves almost certainly originate from gases. Even at this distance from the sun, perturbations in the interstellar medium, which primarily consists of hydrogen and plasma, are likely still brought on by the action of solar winds. What additional information Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 will send back in the upcoming months is not yet known. Both probes will probably stay in orbit for tens of thousands of years. NASA anticipates that radio contact with the probes will end this year or at the latest next year. That will signal the conclusion of a period that lasted for more than 45 years and given people a special understanding of space. The Voyager probes, after all, were the first to thoroughly examine and capture images of the outer planets, as well as give an idea of the Kuiper Belt and the furthest reaches of the solar system. What point does the solar system leave off? Where the solar system actually ends and interstellar space starts has long been a mystery to scientists. Through its solar winds, our star continuously emits streams of plasma into space, creating a sphere into which the entire stellar system is inscribed. After spending the first two decades of their mission investigating Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, the probes continued to go deeper and farther into uncharted territory. These probes have been and continued to be under a lot of stress, yet the technology has worked flawlessly for all these years. Today's experts credit this fact to the fact that both probes were constructed in a fairly straightforward but effective manner. Similar to the differences between an MP3 player and a tape recorder, or a smartphone and a dial phone, the technical differences between the Voyager probes and contemporary probes are comparable. Naturally, the scientists hoped that the technology would remain reliable long enough for us to get data from the outer solar system for the first time. Those hopes were meant to be fulfilled. Long after leaving the last planets behind, Voyager 1 radioed back information from swiftly shifting magnetic fields. Researchers were unaware of what layers of the heliosphere Voyager 1 was in since they had never assessed where and how the sphere of influence of our sun ends. With this trip, astronomers were venturing into unknown territory in terms of science. Every signal and instrument movement from the probe was met with a great deal of excitement on Earth. Flares appeared to dominate near the solar sphere's outermost region. It can be compared to sweeping breezes in fields that occasionally overlap and change in strength. Even weeks later, at the frontier of the solar system, scientists were able to measure a powerful solar flare. The plasma streams traveled 10 to 15 billion kilometers to the edge of the solar system in that amount of time. Around 1,000 kilometers slash are traveled through space by plasma streams. They are substantially slower than light as a result. 
A stream of plasma from the sun typically takes only one or two days to reach Earth. For the first time, Voyager has been able to pick up radio signals from solar flares that are far from the sun, and it has delivered data from the interesting solar wind particle streams. Clouds of the sun's plasma, which are still relatively warm and less dense there, meet with cooler and denser interstellar plasma at the heliosphere's extreme edge. The heliosphere is shaped and compressed at its furthest edge by gravity. Just before the Voyager probe made its permanent entry into interstellar space, measurements revealed substantially denser flows. Not motionless in space, our solar system hangs perilously in plasma. The Sun and its planets are instead traveling through the interstellar medium at a speed of around 84,000 kilometers slash. These numbers can now be verified for the first time thanks to measurements made by Voyager at the heliosphere's edge. So in a way, the little probe and the solar system traveled together. The probe's altered flight behavior once it reached interstellar space caught everyone by surprise. Interstellar space is enigma. The vast region that exists between stars and stellar systems is still mostly unknown to us. There are 40 trillion cam of empty space between the solar system's outermost point, the heliopause, and the closest star. After then, we would be at Alpha Centauri, our next neighboring star. Trillions of kilometers later, the next star is reached, and so on. Interstellar space is not empty, as far as we know. Instead, it is made up of gases, particles, space-traveling light rays, and enigmatic dark matter. The interstellar medium is often known as space itself, or the food source of space. In the early 20th century, scientists thought that our cosmos is literally suspended in an empty vacuum, with stars and planets hanging in there. We only know that the cosmos is very dynamic and that everything is constantly moving and changing as a result of the work of Albert Einstein and some of his colleagues. The underlying architecture of interstellar space, as well as the threads and structures along which the known forms of the universe flow, most likely point to the existence of hitherto undiscovered forms of matter. What is the direction of the Voyager probes? Although plutonium batteries on both Voyager probes have very extended lives, they are still not indestructible. At the latest after the heliopause, many of the probe's equipment and cameras were shut off to conserve energy. Even at such a wide distance, the probes can communicate using regular radio waves. The signal must travel for around 23 hours before it reaches the Earth. Swager 1's radio communication will end at some point this year, as was already indicated. The probe will then continue its journey along with its twin, which has already been in interstellar space for some years. The probe has traveled 129 astronomical units so far. How far will Voyager 1 still be able to travel? It's an unanswered query. For hundreds or thousands of years, the probe might continue to orbit the Earth. Voyager 1 will arrive near the star AC plus 793 to 888 in the Little Bear constellation in 38,000 years. Based on current projections, the probe won't likely be grabbed by the star system because it is about 1.7 light years away. Instead, it will continue traveling until it is drawn in by the gravitational net. It is possible that Voyager will eventually become trapped in this manner in a system of far-off stars, where it will continue to drift in the direction of the star following the routes of gravitational pull. The probe will either hit an asteroid, burn up in the star, or be discovered by an extraterrestrial culture. In this instance, there are messages regarding our planet on board both Voyager spacecraft. Each of the Voyager 1 and 2 had a gold disc, the discs held music, pictures of real-world scenes, sounds, and facts about the Earth and the human race. There is even a clear instruction in the form of pictograms for the aliens to follow in order to play the recordings properly. According to experts, gold discs can last for several billion years. It is therefore very likely that someone will eventually get the communications. Will there still be people on Earth then? And will our messages be able to be answered by the recipient civilization? Of course, we cannot tell right now. The Voyager mission is progressively drawing to an end more than 45 years after it began. We will no longer be able to track the probes as they move forward. NASA scientists are ecstatic with the amazing achievement, but they are also sad to be leaving one another. Many of the technicians, researchers, and other experts working on the project have spent over half of their careers working alongside the Voyager missions. But it's also obvious that there are so many more intriguing mission locations in space that astrophysicists and other NASA scientists won't get bored. Thank you for watching as we completed our voyage with the Voyager spacecraft today. Now please share your thoughts in the comments. Share your thoughts with us regarding the enigmatic radio signals that Voyager discovered in interstellar space. 
Do you believe that in the near future, mankind will explore the interstellar medium to see what they could discover? Please share your opinions with us, and if you have a membership, don't forget to mention it. And click like on this video. See you again soon.